We'll begin with the visiting Hutto Hippos. Leading off for the Hippos, number two, Chris Gatesy. Number one, Zion Hamilton. Number seven, Garrett Bowen. Number 10, Aiden Alvarez. Number nine, Aiden Pollard Torres. Number three, Hunter Thompson. Number six, Xander Hall. I've got two Hunter Thompsons. Number three, Levi Fletcher. And number eight, Alex Velasco. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Right, next one. Right. And now for your hometown, McNeil Mavericks. Leading off for the Mavericks, number 12, left fielder Ramsey Simpson. Second baseman, number one, Jack Goins. Shortstop, number nine, Ryan Bossy. Clean up, number 24, Jackson Collins. Your designated hitter, number 29, Caleb Prell. Center fielder, number 18, Chris Windesman. Catcher, number two, Garrett Banks. Right fielder, number 14, Brandon Moyo. <coughs> Third base, number 16, Wyatt Newman. And on the mound, for your Mavericks, number 15, James Morio. The Mavericks are led by head coach Silver Aguirre and assistant coach Hiram Drum. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would stand. All right, folks, hello and welcome to tonight's district game contest between your McNeil Mavericks and the Hutto Hippos. Mavericks hosting the Hippos here at McNeil Field tonight on a slightly chilly and rather windy evening here after a bunch of storms and tornadoes rolled through the Austin area last night. Both teams looking for their first district win tonight. Both teams 0-3 in district. Hutto 4-12 record overall. McNeil 2-11-1, uh, including preseason play. Starting defense for your Mavs. Jackson Collins at first base. Jack Goins at second. Ryan Vasek at shortstop. Wyatt Newman at third base. Left fielder Ramsey Simpson. In center field, Chris Windesman. Right fielder, Brandon Morio. 
Behind the plate tonight, the senior catcher Garrett Banks, who returns after a uh, brief finger injury. And starting pitcher tonight, left-handed junior James Morio. So starting pitcher Morio taking his warm-ups here. Just about getting ready to get underway. A lot of wind blowing uh, in a in a direction we don't normally see here at Mavericks Field. Got a temperature of 58, feels like 54, 37% humidity, and northwest winds at 17 miles an hour, which out here at the Mavs Field is blowing directly over to right field side. So it should be an interesting day for left-handed hitters. Let's see if they can get the ball up the jet stream here and maybe carry out a little bit. Mavs have uh, two left-handed hitters in their batting order tonight. And all right, looks like we're getting ready for the first pitch here. Mori will face top three batters for the Hippos tonight. Leading off left fielder Chris Gatesick, followed by the center fielder Zion Hamilton, and then the second baseman Garrett Bohm. And let's see, right off the bat here, we have umpire calling time. And Coach Geary is talking to the field umpire about something. Oh, lights went out. Oh, looks like our lights went out. Probably get an inning or two in before those become a necessity, but we're definitely going to need those if we want to go all seven tonight, so uh, hopefully those come back on. One pitch each. <laughs> Here comes the first pitch to Gatesick. Fastball misses a little outside, ball one. Next pitch, fastball swung on and missed. Count goes to 1-1. Got a lefty-lefty matchup to start off here. Left-handed throwing Morio against the left-handed hitting left fielder for Hutto, Gatesick. Third baseman Newman up on the grass anticipating bunt. Next pitch, slider misses outside. So it'll be 2-1. and one. Two one fastball in there for a called strike on the outside part of the plate. Two two pitch. Fastball misses a little outside, so it'll go full count to the leadoff hitter here, Gatesick. Reach pitch, swung on, just got a piece of it, fouled it back into the net. That was another 3 2 pitch, a leadoff hitter. Oh, nice. fastball misses just a little bit outside. So Gade six aboard with a leadoff walk. Bring up the center fielder, number one, Zion Hamilton. And Newman, the Mavs third baseman, still playing up right on the edge of the grass. And Hamilton swings at the first pitch and flies foul just over the top of the uh, press box here. And now we have the umpire moving some things around on behind the mound on the downhill. Oh, one pitch to Hamilton is a fastball that misses high. So it'll be one ball, one strike.
Not much of a lead for the uh, leadoff runner Gatesick over at first. Next pitch swung on. Fly ball. Shallow left field. Going to be a lot of wind, though. It's blowing back in. Vosick, the shortstop, is underneath it, and he makes the grab. Good job tracking that down. That wind, that, that ball looked like it could have gone out to left field. And then because of that wind that's blowing to the right field side, just kind of carried and blew and blew. And Vosick, the shortstop, did a good job of sticking it out. So pop out, first out of the inning. That'll bring up the second baseman and number three hitter, Garrett Bohm. Now batting number seven, Garrett Bohm. First pitch to Bohm is a fastball, misses inside. And the next pitch, fastball, hits him right in the back. So Bohm will head down to first with a hit by pitch. And that'll make it runners on first and second with one out here in the top of the first. Now batting number 10, Aiden Alvarez. And that will bring up the number four hitter, first baseman Aiden Alvarez. Alvarez looks at a first pitch called strike. Okay, I guess that was a foul ball there. It was, didn't seem like there was much of a swing attempt there, but it must have been just enough. And he fouled it back to the screen. So it's 0-2 count here to the first baseman, Alvarez. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike three. Good breaking ball. First strikeout of the night for Morio. That makes it two outs now. Runner still on first and second. And that brings up the number five hitter, Pollard Torres. And he swings at the first pitch and fouls it back out of play over right, right side behind the bleachers. Next pitch. Swung on and missed, strike two. So Morio working ahead to the hitter Alvarez with two outs, runners on first and second. Still nobody across. Next pitch, fastball, misses high and out. So it'll be one and two. Comes a one two pitch. Fastball just got a tip piece of it on the top of the bat there, fouls it back to the screen. So it'll be another one two count. And then that old town row. Yeah. It's got bad words in it? Description of a female body part. Oh, okay. I just remember seeing that in like a high school. One two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. So back to back strikeouts to end the inning. Two base runners, no hits, nobody across. Mavs coming up for the first at-bats here in the bottom of the first. Score still 0-0. We'll be right back.
All right, top of the order coming up here for the Mavericks in the bottom of the first. Leading off, the Mavericks, number 12. Leading off left fielder Ramsey Simpson, followed by Jack Goins and the shortstop Ryan Vosick. And then we'll face the starting pitcher tonight for Hutto, Levi Fletcher. And first pitch to Simpson appears to hit him on the foot. So he hustles down to first base with a one pitch lead off hit by pitch. So one pitch, one quick base runner here for the Mavs. Brings up second baseman Jack Goins. Now batting for the Mavericks, number one, Jack Goins. How you doing, brother? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the hockey. Squares around to bunt, lays it down, taps his bat twice, and then goes foul. So he will head back, and Simpson, the runner on first, will head back to first. Good speed on the base pass as well as at the plate here for the Mavericks. So working a bunt situation could uh, end up being more than just a sacrifice. And 0-1 oh, pitch is a breaking ball that Broke right into the upper back of Jack Goins, the hitter. So that is back to back, no pun intended, hit by pitches. And in the span of the first three pitches here, the Mavs have two base runners with free passes on uh, plunks. Now batting for the Mavericks, number nine, shortstop Ryan Vosick. So that brings up number three hitter Ryan Vosick, who's been swinging a hot bat lately. Let's see if he can get himself a strike here. He does. Swings the first pitch. Ground ball to second base. Fielded by the second baseman. Bohm throws the short in time, but not in time to get Vosick at first. So Goins is out on the force out at second. On the fielder's choice. Simpson advances to third. And Vosick safe at first. And that'll bring up number four hitter Jackson Collins. Now batting for the Mavs, number 24, first baseman, Jackson Collins. Mm, yeah. And first pitch to Collins is in there. Looks at like a called strike one. It looks like just that one. So lights are starting to come back on here at the field. And all of them, except for the one in right center field, seem to be coming back on. They're going to throw down a second to try to get the runner Vosick stealing, but he's safe. Simpson does not advance from third to home on the stolen base, but that will take away the force now. And Mavs have runners on second and third with one out and a 1-1 one -one count to the hitter Collins. Well, this will be interesting to see here if uh, they can continue to play the game once the once it gets darker and uh, one of the pillars of lights does not appear to be willing to come on. 1-1 one, one pitch to Collins. Swung on. Line drive is going to get down into this shallow left field for a base hit. And that's going to bring across easily the runner Simpson from third and the Mavs strike first. Vosick also advances from second to third on the play. So, Murray's on first and third again. One out brings up the designated hitter, number 29, Caleb Crail. And first pitch, first pitch to Crail, fastball, misses a little bit inside, ball one. Hutto defense not playing a bunt. And as Crail swings his next pitch and grounds it foul towards the third base side.
And Fletcher throws over to first to check the runner Collins. He's back in time. Wind is definitely going to be a factor here tonight, folks. Looking at the flag poles out in uh, right center field. There's times when they look like they're about to come out of their, come out of the ground. As Crail swings the next pitch and is fouled. And uh, Collins will head back to first. He was trying to advance, thinking it was a pass ball, but an umpire called it foul. So it'll be one ball, two strikes. The count to Crail, one out. And we have Bosick, the runner on third, and Jackson Collins on first base. One two pitch to Crail. Swung on ground ball. Gets through the glove of the pitcher. Flip from the second baseman over to. Oh! Terrible! I'm going to call a double play there on the flip from Bohm to the shortstop. Terrible! Who got Collins out at second base. They throw over to first, and the umpire says it was in time to get the runner Crail at first. So a 4 6 3 double play ends the inning. Maps score first, though. Put up one run and an RBI single by Collins here. McNeil leading by a score of 1-0. We're heading to the top of the second. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Hutto Hippos here in the top of the second. It'll be the six, seven, eight hitters starting with the pitcher, Levi Fletcher. We followed by the catcher, Xander Hall, and then the shortstop, Hunter Thompson. First pitch to Fletcher, fastball misses inside and low for a ball. Next pitch, good changeup, swung on and missed, strike one. One one pitch, swung on, line drive in the left field. Simpson's going to get over and it's going to get down, fair ball, down the line. And Fletcher's going to get into second with a leadoff double. Seemed like there was some confusion there as to whether or not that was a fair or foul ball, but uh, umpire called it fair. And so Fletcher's aboard with a leadoff double to start the top of the second. Brings up the catcher, number six, Xander Hall. A couple of faithful fans out here in the stands tonight on both sides, bundled up quite a bit. 
as Hall looks at a first pitch fastball, misses high and out. Next pitch, another line drive gets down into the left field for a single, and they're going to hold up the runner, Fletcher, at third base. So. A lead off single followed by a or lead off double followed by a single by Hall. Now we got runners on first and third. Nobody out. We're gonna have a courtesy runner for the catcher Hall. Looks like number twelve, Connor Morris, comes in and will be the courtesy runner at first. And that will bring up the shortstop, Hunter Thompson to the plate. So he's the first pitch and lofts a fly ball into kind of shallow left center field. It's caught in the air by the left fielder Simpson, but it's going to be deep enough and allow the runner to score from third. So Fletcher comes across on the sack fly. And Hutto ties the score up one apiece here in the top of the second inning. Courtesy runner Morris did not advance from first on the sack fly. So he remains at first, and that brings up the right fielder Velasco to the plate. Velasco looks at ball one. Next pitch, swung on, lofted foul, out of play, right field side. One and one, the count to Velasco, runner goes, pitches called the strike on the outside corner, and oh. My God. oh. Throw down looked like throw down was online, looked like it was on time, but umpire says courtesy runner Morris was in there. So it's a stolen base for Morris. He now stands on second base. And we've got a one ball, two strike count to the right fielder Velasco. One two pitch swung on, fouled back to the net. So it looks like we have most of the lights lit up, but we still have that uh, that light tree out in the 360 marker out in right center field that is uh, completely non-illuminated. One two pitch swung on, lost a shallow fly ball over towards first base side. Collins is over into foul territory and makes the grab. Now batting number two, Chris Gates. So that'll be two away. Brings us back to the top of the huddle order and back to uh, left fielder Chris Gadesick, who walked in his first at bat. And first pitch to Gadesick is swung on and missed for strike one. I do see a white van out behind uh, the center field fence, so presumably that's some. Um, we got a couple of people going over to check out that uh, non-functioning set of lights out there. 0-1 pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. O2 pitch. Ooh, fastball looked good from here. Umpire says it missed top side. So one ball, two strikes to count. To the left hand hitting Gatesick. One two pitch swung on. Ground ball. 
bounces off the body of the pitcher, Morio. He collects himself, finds the ground ball, and then throws it over to first in time to end the inning. So two hits that inning, started with the leadoff double by Fletcher. He comes around to score, evens up the score at one apiece here in the top of the second. Mavs coming up to bat in a second. We'll be right back. All right, six, seven, and eight hitters due up for their first time through the lineup here in the top, bottom of the second. Starting off, center fielder Chris Windesman looks at ball one, misses outside. Next pitch swung on. Sounds like he got a foul tip on there, but caught by the catcher, so it'll be 1 1 count now. One one pitch misses outside and low. Two one pitch misses a little bit high, so it'll be three balls, one strike. Counts the leadoff hitter this inning, Windesman. He'll be followed by the catcher Garrett Banks and the right fielder Brandon Morio. 3-1 pitch is over there for called strike two. Three two pitch. Holds off. Ball misses outside. Ball four. So Mavs have one aboard with the leadoff walk by Windesman. Here in the bottom of the second. That brings up the catcher Garrett Banks. First pitch to Banks squares around Bunts, and it goes foul, so it'll be strike one. Banks looks at the next pitch, called strike on the outside corner, says the umpire. So it'll be 0-2 counting out of Banks. Hutto third baseman now draws back to regular position after seeing the unlikelihood of a bunt on 0-2. Next pitch is a breaking ball that misses in the dirt, gets away from the Hutto catcher, but not far enough away for Windesman to advance. Thank you. 
Comes one two pitch to Banks. Another ball misses in the dirt. Count now two and two. Looks like we're definitely going to need that white van and the guys in it to get that light out there because it's starting to look pretty dark in the alley in the right center field there. 2-2 two -two pitch. Another ball misses outside in the dirt. So Banks spits at the last three pitches after going 0-2. And he's got a full count now. Nobody out. Wind has been the leadoff runner at first. Three two pitch swung on hard ground ball gets away from the third baseman and that's going to be into left field. Well hit ball, playable, but I suspect they might score that one a hit. So good at bat for Banks there. McNeil now has runners on first and second. Looks like we're gonna have a courtesy runner for our catcher Banks. Can't see the number on our uh, courtesy runner there. Is it 22? Is that Shook? Okay, so number 22, Ryan Shook, is the courtesy runner for Banks at first. Right fielder Brandon Morio comes up. First baseman playing on the grass. And he squares around to bunt, pulls back, and the pitch is a called strike on the outside corner. So Hutto, first baseman, still firmly planted on the infield grass, having seen that bunt indication from Mario here. Squares around to bunt, misses. And now Mario will find himself with an 0-2 count. O2 pitch, breaking ball, called strike three. So Morio strikes out for the first out of the inning. Now batting for the Mavericks, number 16. And, and that will bring up the third baseman, Wyatt Newman, for his first at bat tonight. First pitch to Newman, misses low in the dirt. First baseman back up on the dirt, or on the grass, and they're going to snap throw down to second base to try to catch Windesman, and he's back. Throw is offline as well. So on the swing and miss by Newman, one ball and one strike to count now. One out. we got Windesman, the runner, on second, and uh, Shook, the courtesy runner, at first. And next pitch is swung on and miss, strike two. One-two pitch, and... It's a breaking ball that the breaks very late. It was started off behind the hitter Newman and came back in and hit him. So that will that hit by pitch will load the bases. And we are back to the top of the Maverick order with Ramsey Simpson, who himself reached on a hit by pitch and was the first run scored by the Mavericks tonight so far. So infield corners are up on the grass, trying to cut off the run at home as Simpson looks at ball one. And it looks at a another ball that appears to miss a little bit high. So hitters count for Simpson here, 2-0. 
Next pitch is swung on. Lofsey, fly ball into shallow right center field. Right fielder's over. He makes the grab. Winnesman is, is going to be enough for Winnesman to tag and score. So a sacrifice fly for Simpson gets the job done. Puts the Mavs up by a score of 2-1 to one now. Two outs. And that will bring second baseman Jack Goins up, who also was one of the three hit by pitches so far this game. Both Newman and Shook remained on first and second on that sack fly. Next pitch, ground ball swung on, fielded easily by the second baseman, Boehm. Throws over to first in time to retire Goins. So the Mavs strike back. One run on an RBI sack fly by Ramsey Simpson. Go up by a score of 2-1 to one as we head to the top of the third. We'll be right back. All right, two, three, four hitters due up here for the Hutto Hippos in the top of the third. Leading off will be the center fielder, Zion Hamilton, who popped out to shortstop his first at bat, and he swings and misses at a first pitch changeup for strike one. Still no light service out in right center field, folks. You can probably see that on the camera. We're hopeful, though. <laughs> Another swing and a miss. Pretty much same pitch, changeup, which is got to have a lot of run coming off the arm of a left-handed pitcher here tonight with winds blowing 17 to 19 miles an hour, arm side. So no balls, two strikes, the count's Hamilton. And next pitch, fastball, misses outside for a ball. One two pitch swung on pop foul right behind or on almost on top of the uh, press box here. That was quick. Yeah, I know. One two pitch. Look pretty good. Misses a little bit low, possibly outside. So it'll be two balls, two strikes to count to lead off hitter Hamilton. Two two fastball swung on. Shallow fly ball. Center field. Wind is in the center fielder is makes the grab in the dark. And uh <laughs> and that retires Hamilton. <laughs> So Hamilton flies out for the first out of the inning. You know, outfielders coming in probably won't be so bad, but if a ball gets over your head and you got to start going towards the darkness, it's going to get kind of interesting. <laughs> That'll bring up the second baseman, Bohm, who was hit by a pitch in his first at bat. He looks at a breaking ball that's 
in there on the inside corner for called strike. Another fastball, called strike, inside corner. Bohm didn't like it. Bohm thought it was too close, but umpire gave him the inside corner. So Moria working ahead 0-2 here. And next pitch, ground ball with a lot of spin on it. Fielded by the second baseman. It was a weak roller, but just a lot of spin. Fortunately, second baseman... Goings was able to pick it up, throws it over to first in time, and retires Bohm. So two away for the Hippos here in the top of the third. Brings up the first baseman, Alvarez. Alvarez struck out in his first at bat. Swings at the first pitch, another ground ball. The second baseman, fielded by Goins, throws over to first in time, and that will end the inning. So one, two, three inning for the Mavs defense here in the top of the third. No runs, no hits. Mavs head to the bottom of the third, still up by one by a score of two to one. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavs here in the bottom of the third. Shortstop Ryan Vosick safe on a fielder's choice in his first at bat. Swings the first pitch and fouls it right back into the net. Mavs leading by a score of 2-1 to one here in the third inning, hoping to tack it on a few more insurance runs. Next pitch, fastball misses a little outside and low. Looks like we've got signs of light slash life out on our uh, on our last light post out there in the 360 sign out in right center. So that's a good sign. Next pitch, swung on, lofts a fly ball. Right fielder going back and to his left. And the ball gets away from him. And Vasek is hustling. He's around second, and he's going to come into third, and we'll be standing up. So a leadoff. And that looked routine, but again, folks, with the wind blowing as hard as it is tonight over to that right field side, that ball just kind of carried up there and got away from the right from the Hutter right fielder. So I think we're going to go ahead and call that a leadoff triple for Vasek to start the bottom of the third here and brings up the first baseman Jackson Collins who singled, had an RBI single back in the uh, first inning. First pitch to Collins and fastball misses outside.
Oh, Colin swings and fouls a pitch off of the mask of the catcher. Catcher looks all right, though. Looks like nothing even happened. So 1-1 the count Collins, and our uh, our last remaining light post out there in right center is shining very bright now. So we've got a full and complete well-lit field here finally. <laughs> Might be a little too bright. They, they added some extra voltage out there in that one. 1-1 one, one pitch to Collins. Swung on, fouled out of play. comes the one-two pitch. Breaking ball checks his swing. Ball's in the dirt. Umpire says he did not go around. So it'll be two balls, two strikes now to count to Collins. Two-two pitch. Kind of lofts his bat out there. Pops it up. Foul territory on the first base side. First baseman is over there but cannot make the grab. That ball once again carried quite a ways. Yeah, it looked like first baseman thought he was going to run out of room there, but it dropped right before the fence there. So Collins stays alive with a 2-2 count. And next pitch is swung on. Deep fly ball hit out in the left field. That's going to get over the oh, left fielder. Oh, there's that win. Brought it back in. It's going to be deep enough, though. It's caught by the left fielder, but deep enough to allow Vosick to score. And so it's a RBI sack fly for Collins and his second RBI of the night. Ball looked like it was really hit well, but once again, the wind... Just kind of killed it. Let it hang up there enough time for the left field to get back and get it. So one away now. Base is cleared. Brings up designated hitter Caleb Crail, who looks at a fastball that misses outside for ball one. Another fastball misses outside and low. Pretty much the same exact spot. 2-0 count now. A couple other scores from around the district. Looks like we got Round Rock leading Westwood by a score of 2-0 to zero here in the bottom of the fourth. Crail swings, drives a line drive into the gap in right center field, or left center field. That's going to get down for a single. One out single for Crail. That'll bring up the center fielder, Chris Windesman. Stony Point leading Cedar Ridge here in the bottom of the fifth by a score of 1-0. Now batting for the Mavericks, number 18, Chris Windesman. Come on, Chris. And we've got a 0-0 score for Vista Ridge versus Vandegrift in the top of the second. First pitch to Windesman, fastball misses high and out for a ball. Next pitch, breaking ball, kind of carried in, missed a little bit, maybe high and inside. So it'll be two balls, no strikes to Windesman. Next pitch misses high and outside. 3-0 the count. Mavs up by a score of 3-1 to one here. Scoring one run in each inning so far. Hoping to tack on a few more here this inning. Three-zero pitch misses high and outside, so it's a walk on four straight pitches for Windesman. That'll make it now runners on first and second, with one out. We're going to have a visit to the mound from the Hutto coaching staff.
3-1 score here in favor of the Mavericks. Bottom of the third inning. Maz with four hits. Hutto with two. Both starting pitchers still remain in the game thus far. Starting pitcher for the Hutto Hippos, Fletcher. Coming up on pitch number 51. And with runners on first and second, one out brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Swing is the first pitch. Slow rolling ground ball to shortstop. Fielded by the shortstop. He's going to throw over to first, but it's offline. And it looks like Banks was going to leg it out either way, so that'll probably be ruled an infield single. And that will load the bases for the right fielder, Brandon Morio. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Number 22, Ryan Shook comes in again to courtesy run for the catcher Banks at first. <coughs> so once again the Hutto infield corners will be up on the grass. And he swings the first pitch and misses strike one. Next pitch swung on, shallow fly ball right behind second base. Center fielder is charging hard, but it's going to be fielded by the second baseman. And they may have called that one an infield fly. So Morio pops out for the second out of the inning. And that will bring up... With two outs and bases loaded, the third baseman, Wyatt Newman, who reached in his first at bat on a hit by pitch. Swings the first pitch, ground ball, slow roll on the third base side, but it is right there, Taylor made for the third baseman to just get the force out at third. So the Mavs leave, score one, but leave the bases loaded. One run on three hits. We go to the top of the fourth inning, Mavs ahead by a score of 3-1. to one. We'll be right back. All right, five, six, seven hitters due up here for Hutto in the top of the fourth. Leading off third baseman Aiden Paul and Torres. Paul or Torres struck out in his first at bat back in the first inning. He looks at a first pitch ball. Start the at bat. Next pitch tries to check his swing, fouls it off.
One ball, one strike to Paulo Torres. Next pitch swung on, lofted out of play, foul again behind the bleachers. <coughs> one ball, two strikes. Next pitch swung on, just gets a piece of it and fouls it back to the screen. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike three. So strike off to open, strike out to open up the inning here in the top of the fourth. Third strike out of the night for Morio. Brings up the pitcher for the Hutto Hippos here, Levi Fletcher. Fletcher had a double in his first at bat. And he looks at a first pitch fastball that Nearly hits him, but misses on the inside corner. Ball one. Next pitch is swung on, lofted foul on a play. One ball, one strike, the count to Fletcher. Next pitch swung on, good, lofted into shallow left field, and it just hangs up there long enough for the left fielder Simpson to come over and make the grab. So, you know, these balls hit the left field tonight. They, they look well hit, and they probably are, but that wind just kind of makes them die and just hang up there. Easy prey for a athletic outfielder. So two away here in the top of the fourth. Brings up the catcher, Xander Hall, who singled in his first at bat. Hall looks at a first pitch, first pitch fastball, misses outside. Next pitch, good looking change up. Dove outside, big swing and a miss. So kind of go to one one. Next pitch, fastball misses low. Two and one the count, two outs, nobody on. Two one pitch swung on a little ground ball fielded by the second baseman Goins throws over in time and that will end the inning. So back to back one two three innings for the Mavs defense here in the third and fourth inning no runs no hits. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Mavs still in front by a score of three to one. We'll be right back.
All right, top of the Mavs order due up here in the bottom of the fourth, leading by a score of 3-1. to one. Leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson steps in. Is it a first pitch ball? Misses high and in. Simpson with a good night so far. Hit by pitch back in the first inning, scored a run that inning, and then had a uh, RBI sack fly in the second. Swings the next pitch, ground ball softly to second base side. Fielded by Bohm. Throws in the dirt, but good pick by the Hutto first baseman, and Simpson is retired. So one away for the Mavs here. Bottom of four, brings up second baseman Jack Goins. Goins also with a hit by pitch and then grounded out to second base back in the second inning. First pitch, good slider, but seems to hit the dirt. This will be ball one. Next pitch, swung on, lofted out of play. So we got some activity up in the Mavericks bullpen. <coughs> Couple of lefties. Yeah. One one pitch to go and swung on, lofted foul out of play, actually over towards the Mavericks dugout, bounces off the top. So it'll be one two count to Goins. Next pitch, breaking ball. Misses inside, gets away from the catcher. It's going to be 2-2 count now. Now you're talking. 2-2 pitch. Pass ball misses outside a little bit. So count will go full now. Full count, nobody on, one out. Next pitch misses outside and in the dirt. So Goins will head it down to first base with a one-out walk. That'll bring up the number three hitter, Ryan Vosick. A fielder's choice. And a triple in his last at-bat in the third inning here. Scored a run on the sack fly by Collins that followed. Goins goes on the pitch. The pitch gets away from the catcher. So he will be in easily at second, but he will hold up there. Pitch to Vasek misses outside and high ball two. Pitch number 65 coming up for the starting pitcher Fletcher. Don't see any activity in the Hutto dugout or a bullpen. As the next pitch is in there for a called strike. Two one pitch to Vasek. Swung on, lofted, fly ball, center field. Center fielder's underneath it and makes the grab. And not deep enough for Goins to tag up and advance to third. So he'll remain at second. Two outs now. And that will bring up first baseman Jackson Collins. RBI single and an RBI sack fly in his two at-bats tonight. So he's the first pitch, ground ball is going to get through, oh, fielded by the shortstop in deep 
behind the second base bag, though. He's not going to be able to make a play, but it does prevent the runner goings from advancing home to home. So he will hold up at third. It's a single for Collins. Yeah, that's it. And now we've got runners on first and third with two outs. Brings up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. Crail grounded into a double play in the first and then had a single back in the third inning. Crail swings to the first pitch and lofts a foul ball just over the net and to the right of the windows yeah, of the press box here. Next pitch misses high, and they're going to run. Yeah. And they cause a little bit of confusion on the base pass. Collins is going to be picked off in a rundown at, in between first and second, but on the throw down to second, that does allow the runner to score from third base. So Goins comes across on the base running kind of uh, confusion there. So Crail will finish his at bat due to an out on the base pass. He will come up first next inning. Mavs tack on one more run there, leading by a score of 4-1 to one now. And we go to the top of the fifth inning with Huddo Hippos coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, we got a pitching change here for the Mavericks. Coming in here in the top of the fifth inning in relief for the starting pitcher, James Morio. Number five, Tim Calderon, senior left-hander, comes in. And he will face eight, nine hitters, and then the back to the top of the Hutto order, leading off the shortstop, Hunter Thompson. Sack fly in his only at bat today. And he looks at a first pitch fastball, misses high for ball one. Next pitch swung on, lofts a foul ball out of play. Yep, goes over and bounces off the top of the Mavericks bullpen area. One ball, one strike, the count to Thompson. He'll be followed by the right fielder and number nine hitter Velasco, and then back to the top. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on, soft roller down to third base, fielded by Newman, throws over to first in time. Good play by Newman here, charging on the slow rolling ground ball down third base line. So Calderon comes in, gets one quick out. Brings up the right fielder, Velasco, who uh, popped out to first base in his only at bat tonight so far.
First pitch breaking ball just misses a little bit outside for ball one. Fastball this time misses pretty far outside. So it'll be 2 0 count. Next pitch swung on, line drive, going to get over the glove of the third baseman, Newman, and into left field for a one-out single. Now batting number two, Chris Gatesick. Well, to bring us back to the top of the order, left fielder Chris Gatesick comes up. 0 for 1 tonight with a walk and grounded out to the pitcher in his two appearances. Calderon throws over to first, check the runner. And he is back in time. Calderon throws over again. Runner still safe. First pitch, breaking ball in there for called strike one to the hitter Gatesick. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play. What's our sound for that direction? Calderon working ahead with an 0-2 count on Gatesick. Next pitch, breaking ball, line drive, gets into the gap in the right center field. That's going to be down for a single, possibly more, as the ball gets away from the center fielder. Picked up by the right fielder. And the run from, runner from first is going to come all the way home to score, and then we have a throw that gets away from the third baseman. And a single turns into a, the equivalent of a Little League home run. So an RBI single for Gadesick, and then on the throwing errors, both runners come across, and that will tie the game up. Or sorry, no. Four to three. Okay. For some reason, Coach, we had a stoppage of, stoppage of play there, and Coach Aguirre went out to say something to the outfield. I'm not entirely sure what that was about. No changes seem to have been made. All right, so we're back now. Four to three, Mavs still up by one. Got one away, nobody on. Brings it to center fielder Zion Hamilton, who looks at a first pitch breaking ball that misses for ball one. <laughs> Next pitch swung on. Hard ground ball is going to get down the third base line and going to be in there. Single. Hamilton is going to be in at second base with a stand up double. So a leadoff ground out followed by back-to-back -back singles and then a double. And the tying run for the Hutto now stands out on second base. And looks like we're going to have a mound visit. As Coach Aguirre is going to come out and talk to his pitcher in his infield.
close game here, folks. Mavs still ahead by a score of four to three. Pretty even. Mavs Mavs one one hit ahead of uh, Hutto tonight with six to Hutto's five. And so the number three hitting second baseman Garrett Bohm comes to the plate now. 0 for 1 tonight with a hit by pitch and then grounded out to second base. And he swings at the first pitch. A little slow rolling ground ball to the third. Gets underneath the glove of Newman, though. And Bohm's going to be safe. And the runner, Hamilton, was running on the play. He advances the third. On the error. So we've got runners on first and third now. One out. And that brings up the first baseman, Alvarez. No. Now batting number 10, Aiden yes. Alvarez. Looked like for a second there, they might have been doing a pinch hit, but that's not the case. So Aiden Alvarez comes to bat. Let's go. Alvarez over for two tonight with a strikeout and a ground out to second base. First pitch to Alvarez is in there for called strike one on the outside corner. Pitch looked pretty good from here. Umpire says it missed somewhere. So it'll be one ball, one strike. Runner goes from first. Pitch is swung on and fouled. So the runner on first heads back to first. And we got a one-two pitch coming up. Pitch is swung on. Line drive gets over the glove of the shortstop, Vasek, and into center field. And so that's going to allow the run, runner to score from third easily. And we are all tied up now, folks. Now batting, number nine, Aiden Pollard Torres. And Hutto now has runners on first and second, one out. Brings up the third baseman, Aiden Pollard-Torres. Struck out twice tonight in his only two appearances. That first pitch there misses inside and low. Next pitch is swung on and lofted foul out of play. One pitch, fastball. Must have missed a little bit in or low. Count's going to be two balls and one strike. Next pitch, fastball, called strike on the outside corner. So, Bohm, your runner at second. Alvarez, your runner at first. And the 2-2 pitch to Pollard Torres. Swung on, fly ball, shallow center field. Windesman comes in a couple of steps and makes the grab. Runner makes a hard set of steps like he's going to run to third, but will not advance as it was too shallow. So two away now. Runners stay at first and second. Brings up the pitcher, Levi Fletcher. Fletcher with a double and then flew out to left field. So far tonight. And Fletcher looks at a first pitch fastball, misses a little bit low, ball one. Next pitch swung on hard line drive. Again, going to be fair down the third base line and into left field. One run's going to score. 
and they're going to hold up the runner at third. But Bohm scores from second, and that will be the go-ahead run for Hutto, who have just gone up by a score of 5-4. to four. Alvarez advances from first to third. And Fletcher with his second double of the night. And that brings up the catcher Xander Hall. One for two, single, and grounded out to second base. He's got runners on second and third here with two outs. Swings to the first pitch, fouls it back out of play. A one breaking ball, line drive into center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Runner scores from third, and the runner is going to also come around and score from second as well. So a two RBI single for Hall. And Hutto goes up now by a score of seven to four, and they have just batted around. So we will be back to the where we started this inning. with the shortstop, Hunter Thompson, who started this inning grounding out to third base. Swings to the first pitch, lofts a fly ball that's going to get fouled down the right field side and out of play. Ground ball, Just hit to shortstop, Vasek throws over to first, and we'll be in time, and that will end the inning. So Hutto has themselves an inning. Tack on six runs to take the lead by a score of 7-4 to four on six hits. Mavs now chasing three runs, heading to the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll be right back. Right, we got a new pitcher for Hutto. 
coming on in relief for the starting pitcher Levi Fletcher we have number five Justin Pena Cripps left-hander has come in and he will face the five six seven part of the Mavs order here to start off the bottom of the fifth leading off with uh, Caleb Crail. Crail one for two tonight with a single and uh, grounded into a double play started his at bat last inning but uh, at bat was ended with a out on the base paths so he's got a fresh count and looks at ball one. Swings the next pitch, fouls it back out of play into just behind the bleachers. Looks like Round Rock has gone up rather comfortably over Westwood by a score of 5-0 in the top of the sixth. So we have a final score. Stony Point has defeated Cedar Ridge by a score of 2-0 as Crail hits a Foul ball over towards the first base side out of play. And Vista Ridge now leading Vandegrift in the top of the fourth by a score of 2 0. One two pitch to Crail. Comes in inside. Misses for a ball. Pitcher Pena Cripps thought it was strike three. Umpire thinks otherwise. Next pitch swung on. Ground ball. Short stop. Bounces off. Gets away. Not going to have a play. So Crail's aboard with an error by the short stop. Now we'll bring up the center fielder, Chris Windesman. Now batting for the Mavericks, number 18, center fielder, Chris Windesman. Windesman with two walks in his two appearances tonight. Also scored a run back in the second inning. He looks at a first pitch. Late call by the umpire there. And decided to call a strike. Next pitch swung on. Hard ground ball. Gets through the legs of the pitcher and once again there's not going to be a play one of those tough comebackers <laughs> probably score that one and hit so first two run first two hitters are aboard here for the Mavs in the top of the or bottom of the fifth nobody out Brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks, two for two tonight with two singles. So we're going to good bat. And he looks at a first pitch fastball that runs outside and high for a ball. It's like a first baseman for Hutto playing up on the grass. As Banks takes a big hack at the next pitch and misses for strike one. Next pitch misses high and outside again. So two and one the count to Banks. Hutto infield now playing normal depth. Next pitch, another fastball, misses outside. Trying to paint outside corner, missing. So it'll be three and one, the count to Banks. Three one pitch. Over to plate in there for called strike two.
3-2 pitch. Misses inside and low. Ball four. So Banks reaches in all three of his appearances tonight. That loads the bases. And that brings up the right fielder, Brandon Morio. Morio looking for his first hit tonight. 0 for 2 with a strikeout and then popped out to second base. Swings the first pitch, line drive into center field. Center fielder charging, and he makes the grab in a sliding, diving catch. Wow, good play by the center fielder there to Rob Morio. That ball looked like it was going to get down. So Morio lines out to center for the first out of the inning. Brings up the third baseman, Wyatt Newman, now with bases loaded still and one out. And he looks at a first pitch ball that misses inside low. Next pitch fastball misses outside this time. Ball two. <laughs> two old pitch swung on ground ball right in between the hole and between first and second base. Yeah, he dropped the ball. Fielded by the second baseman, Bohm, but the throw was dropped by the first baseman, so it's going to be safe all around. And one run is going to score. So the leadoff hitter, Crail, comes around from third and scores on the error by the first baseman. And everybody moves up one base. Base is still loaded here, and we're back to the top of the Mavericks order with Ramsey Simpson standing in now. First pitch to Simpson misses inside. Uh, looks like at some point here in the last couple of pitches, uh, courtesy runner Ryan Shook came in for the catcher Garrett Banks, and he's at second base now as Simpson looks at two straight balls that miss inside and low. So Chris Windesman, your runner on third. Ryan Shook, your runner at second. And Wyatt Newman, the runner at first. As Simpson prepares for the 2-0 delivery. Late call by the umpire and finally decides that that one is a strike. So it'll be two balls and one strike now to Simpson. <laughs> and the next pitch nails Simpson in the back. RBI hit by pitch. His second hit by pitch of the night. And so everybody moves up one base again. And Hutto Coach is going to come out and talk to his pitcher and in infield. Maps pulled within one now by a score of 7-6. to six On some defensive miscues and some hit-by-pitches. Hit-by-pitch, a walk, two errors, and a single. And so the bases are still loaded again. One out. Jack Goins steps in. He's reached base two out of three appearances tonight by virtue of a hit by pitch and a walk. Also grounded out back in the second. And first pitch to him is a ball. Misses high and outside. They snap throw down to first to try to catch the runner, Simpson, but he's back in time. Good snap throw, but one of those, that, that gets past your first baseman, and you're looking at two runs on an overthrow there. So risky move with the game in the balance by one run. 
The next pitch to Goins misses high. So 2-0 oh the count to Goins. Next pitch swung on line drive is going to get down to the left field for a base hit. Shook comes around from second to score. Noom is going to be held up at third. And the RBI single by Goins has just tied the game back up at seven apiece. And once again, everybody moves up one base. Bases remain loaded. Still one out. Brings up Vasek, who had a triple back in the second or back in the third inning. And he looks at ball one, misses outside and high. We did have some activity briefly up in the Hippos' bullpen. And another pitch misses high and outside, ball two. So 2-0 the count to Vasek. Next pitch misses ball three. So nowhere to put him. Vasek looking at a 3-0 count. I imagine he's going to be taken all the way right here. And that pitch misses inside and high for ball four. So the go-ahead run has just been walked in as Newman crosses the plate. And that's going to do it for Pena Cripps. Pitching change coming in here for the Hutto Hippos. Mavs have just gone up by a score of 8-7. to seven. And let's see, number 13. Okay, looks like McGee is going to come in and be the new pitcher for Hutto. So McGee comes in relief for Pena Cripps. Mavs trying to keep the inning rolling here, having just gone up by a score of 8-7. to seven. We'll let McGee get his warm-ups, and we'll be right back. All right, so new pitcher McGee getting ready to face the number four hitter for the Mavericks here, Jackson Collins. He inherits bases loaded and one out. 
Right-handed pitcher McGee getting ready to deliver the first pitch to Collins. And it is over for a called strike one. So we've got Simpson, the runner, on third, Goins at second, and Vosick at first. And here comes the 0-1 pitch to Collins. Misses low in the dirt, gets away from the catcher, and Simpson's going to come across as the throw from the catcher to the pitcher actually hits him as he's coming across the plate. So Simpson heads the dugout and scores on the pass ball. Mavs now leading by a score of nine to seven. Everybody else advanced too. So Simpson, or sorry, uh, Goins now the runner on third, and Vosick at second. So no force in play, and it's a one-one count to Collins. Swings the next pitch, lofts a high fly ball in the shallow center field. Center fielder coming in a couple of steps underneath it. He makes the grab. Goins is going to try to tag up and score from third, and he does. Wow, center fielder jumping up and down. If they would have, if they would not have cut that throw, there was a chance. Although Goins does have good speed, it would have been close. But nonetheless, so second sack fly of the night for Collins, and also has three RBIs now. And so with that, the Mavs have just batted around themselves. And with two outs now and a runner on second, that brings up Caleb Crail for the second at bat this inning. Crail started off the inning with an error by the shortstop and scored the first run. He looks at a fastball over the outside corner for called strike one. Mavs leading by a score now of 10 to 7. Next pitch inside, swung on and miss, or swung on and fouled back to the screen rather. So Crail behind now, 0-2 pitch to Crail, breaking ball, misses outside and low for a ball. Comes the 1-2 pitch, breaking ball, swung on, ground ball to shortstop, fielded by a shortstop, they throw to third, and Vasek was running on the play. And he is tagged out, trying to advance from second to third. So that will end the inning. So the Mavs have themselves a good inning, though. Tack on one, two, three, four, five runs. Retake the lead by a score of 10 to 7 on just two hits. And a bunch of miscues and various other things there. So... Mavs up by three, heading to the top of the sixth inning. We've got a brand new pitcher for the Mavericks here, the third lefty of the night, Brandon Morio, twin brother of starting pitcher James Morio, is going to be the new relief pitcher. So we'll let him get his warm-ups, and we'll come back for the top of the sixth. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.
Yeah, eights, nines, sixes, and Okay, so Brandon Morio, another junior left-hander, comes in in relief of Tim Calderon. And he will face the number nine batter, then back to the top of the order here in the top of the sixth inning. And first pitch to the leadoff hitter this inning, Velasco, misses a little bit inside for ball one. Velasco with a single and a pop out in his two at bats today. Next pitch fastball is in there, called strike one. Next pitch, wicked breaking ball, swung on and missed. Strike two. Next pitch, another breaking ball. Hitter checks his swing. Ball gets away from the catcher, back to the screen. So it'll be two balls, two strikes to Velasco. Next pitch swung on, got him on the hands, fouls it, ground ball down the uh, first base side. So hitter Velasco stays alive here with a 2-2 count. Next pitch swung on, line drive right to the shortstop Vasek, and he makes the play for the first out of the inning. So one away here in the top of the six. Bring, six brings up back to the top of the order. The fielder Chris Gadesick stands in. Walk grounded out and singled in the last inning. He looks at a first pitch fastball in the outside corner called strike one. Next pitch, fastball gets away from the catcher. One ball, one strike. So we had a close game. Round Rock versus Westwood now. Top of the seventh inning. Round Rock leading by a score of 5-3. to three. Vista Ridge still leading by a score of 2-0 over Vandegrift in the top of the fifth. One ball, one strike to the hitter Gatesick. Big swing to miss the next pitch, strike two. Next pitch, good looking placement there. Umpire said to miss somewhere though, so it'll be two balls, two strikes. Two two pitch, check the swing. Appeal down to the first base umpire. He says he did not go, so it will be a full count now to Gatesick. And next pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. First strikeout for Brandon Morio tonight. And he retires the first two batters he faces here in the top of the sixth. That will bring up the center fielder, Zion Hamilton. Zion one for three tonight with a double and a run scored. Looks like a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike.
Next pitch. Boy, if he didn't swing at that pitch, it might have hit him. It was so inside, but he took a big hack at it and fouled it. Incredibly foul. Kind of back. That might have gone over the soccer fields behind us here on the left side. So Hi Hamilton in, ha in here now with an 0-2 count. And he swings. Ground ball, shortstop side, fielded by Vasek. And the runner falls over. Oh, looks like he hurt himself. So he's going to be thrown out. I don't know if he got tripped up in the bat. I didn't see what happened with the runner there, but he is down for the count. So hopefully trainers come out. They will attend to Hamilton. And that will end the inning. No runs, no hits for Hutto. Maps coming up to bat here in the top, bottom of the six. We'll be right back. All right, Chris Wind has been set to lead it off here for the Mavs in the bottom of the sixth. Swings the first pitch and taps it foul over towards the Hippos' dugout. So Mavs still in front here by a score of 10-7. to 7. Hoping to tack on some more insurance here in the... Bottom of the sixth as Windesman lines a drive that gets over the center fielder's head and into the right center gap for a leadoff double. Yeah, that's great. Good job, Chris. So Mavs get a runner, runner on here with the first appearance of the <laughs> inning. Goes right to scoring position. Brings up catcher Garrett Banks. Garrett Banks. Two for two with two walks, or sorry, two singles and a walk. Also scored a run back in that five-run fifth inning. Chris, 
He looks at the first pitch breaking ball, misses outside and low. Big swing and a miss the next pitch. It'll be one ball, one strike to Banks. <coughs> next pitch swung on, high fly ball, right field. Right fielder takes a couple of steps to his left and he makes the grab. Winism is going to tag up and he's going to advance from second to third on the fly ball there by uh, Crail. So one away, runner on third now. Brings up the now pitcher for the Mavericks, Brandon Morio. And the Hutto Defense all up on the grass, trying to cut off the run at first, or run at third, as Morio swings at the first pitch and fouls out of play. No flag. Next pitch, we got hard ground ball right up the middle into center field for a base hit. And that's going to be an RBI single for Morio. First hit of the night. Couldn't have come at a better time. And Winnesman scores from third, making the score 11-7 to in favor of the Mavericks. Looks like we have a courtesy runner. Right? Is that a courtesy runner? Oh, it wasn't, but now it is. We were prophesizing a courtesy runner, and sure enough, it becomes in. So number 23, it looks like Alex Brasenio is going to be the courtesy runner at first in place of the pitcher, Brandon Morio. So Brasenio, the runner at first, brings up Wyatt Newman. Newman with a hit by pitch, grounded out to third, safe on an error, and scored one of the runs back in the fifth inning. Takes a big hack the first pitch he sees and misses strike one. <laughs> Next pitch, gets a piece of it, swung on, and just kind of squib fouls it. Stops right in front of the on-deck hitter there, Simpson. Swings and misses the next pitch, strike three. Two away now for the Mavs, back to the top of the order. Brings up Ramsey Simpson. Simpson with two hit by pitches, a sack fly, scored two runs. So a pretty active day for Simpson here at the plate. Swings to the first pitch he sees and lofts a foul ball. Fly, uh, goes out of play over towards the left field side. Oh, one pitch to Simpson misses high and out for ball one. Next pitch swung on, lofted out of play again, back behind the bleachers. Simpson will look at 1 2. Here with two outs. Briseño, the courtesy runner, still stands at first base.
One two pitch. Holds off of it, leaves it up high. Two balls, two strikes now to count. Second base from going stands on deck should Simpson reach safely. And the next pitch must not have hit him. Looks like it might have gone behind the hitter. Otherwise, that would have been his third by hit by pitch tonight. Almost got the hat trick. Almost got the hat trick of hit by pitches there. But instead, it's just a ball. Count goes full. That did allow the courtesy runner, Brasenio, to advance easily to second base. So he stands out there in scoring position. And here comes a 3-2 pitch. And called strike three on the outside corner, and that will end the inning. Yeah, but how many times tonight have you called that as a ball? So Mavs tack on one more insurance run here, go up by a score of 11-7. On a double by Windesman, followed by an RBI single by the pitcher, Brandon Morio. We head to the seventh inning, last at-bats. Here for the Hippos. Mavs up by four. Hoping to keep that lead and shut the door here. We'll be right back. All right, heart of the order coming up here for the Hippos in the top of the seventh. Leading off will be the second baseman, Garrett Bohm. Bohm with a hit by pitch, ground out, and safe on an error in his three appearances. Takes a big swing and a miss the first pitch, breaking ball, strike one. Now batting for Otto, number seven, Garrett Bohm. He swung himself all the way to the other side of the opposing batter's box on that cut. Pitch fastball misses just a little bit low. One ball, one strike to count. Next pitch swung on ground ball right to the third baseman, Newman. Feels it in plenty of time, throws over, and Bohm is retired on the ground out. So one away here in the top of the seventh brings up the First baseman, Aiden Alvarez. Alvarez one for three tonight. It was strikeout, ground out, and then a single and a run scored back in the fifth. First pitch fastball misses a little bit low, I guess. Tries to check his swing, but clearly goes around for strike one. Yes. One one pitch looks like he held off on that one. There, umpire says it misses, so it'll be two balls and one strike. Next pitch comes inside, misses a little bit high and in, so three and one the count. <coughs> Let's 
Through one pitch, swung on ground ball, fielded by the second baseman Goins. Throws it over to first in time. And Alvarez is retired for the second out of the inning. And so Hutto down to their last out. Brings up the third baseman, number five hitter, Aiden Pollard Torres. Two strikeouts and then flew out to center field. Now batting number nine, Aiden Pollard Torres. First pitch breaking ball in there called strike. Another late reaction for the umpire there, but got the strike call. Next pitch swung on, line drive into right field. That's going to get down and is going to be in there for extra bases. It goes all the way to the right field fence. Throw in is going to be to second base, and Pollard Torres is in with a two out triple. So Hutto now with a runner on third base, two outs here in the, bottom, in the top of the seventh inning. Brings up the, who was the starting pitcher, Levi Fletcher. He swings at the first pitch and fouls it out of play. A one pitch misses a little bit low, ball one. Next pitch swung on, fly ball into right field. Right fielder is over there, but misplays it, so we're going to have one run scores easily from third. Fletcher on his way to third. He's going to be in there standing up, and they're going to hold him up at third. So Hutto showing a little bit of life here with the bats in the top of the seventh, down to their last out. One run comes across, makes the score 11 to 8. And that brings up the catcher, Xander Hall, who looks at a first pitch breaking ball that misses low and outside for ball one. Hall, two for three tonight, two singles and a ground out. Next pitch, fastball in there on the outs in the inside corner called strike one. Pitch. One one pitch misses a little bit low. So it'll be two and one the count. Next pitch, swung on a miss, strike two. Two balls, two strikes, the count to Hall. Next pitch, swung on, ground ball right up the middle. Vosick, the shortstop, comes over, makes the play. Throw is yeah! in time to end the game. Nice play by Vasi to get over there and make the throw on the run to end the, to end the inning and end the game. So the Mavs victorious here, get their first district win by a score of 11-8. to eight. Thanks, everyone, for joining in and watching us tonight. Join us again on Friday, this coming Friday, March, 20, March 25th at 7.30 again. Mavs will play the Hutto Hippos again out at Hutto. Thanks again for joining us, folks. Have a good evening.